Royal Rumble is my favorite pay per view of the day. I'm more excited about this than WrestleMania, so I will see it as well. SummerSlam because for one night it is just fucking awesome. Yeah, you could see your favorite superstar again. Even just one night, I'm just fucking excited to see them. But not all Royal Rumble winners are gay. So. Today, uh, we are going to look at three of the worst Royal Rumble winners of all time. Coming at number three, we have Roman Reigns 2015. So, for those who don't know, 2015 Roman Reigns isn't like the Roman we have right now. Like, people just fucking hate him because Vince just push him to the fucking moon like he wasn't ready for it but they just didn't care plus this is the year like not this year 2014 and 2015 everyone wanted to see Daniel Bryan winning the Royal Rumble so it was fucking dumb to see Roman in not only then this Royal Rumble I still can't fucking believe this because The Rock couldn't save this Royal Rumble which is Which is oh wow like I still fucking can't believe like The Rock Is like the biggest superstar of all time like He even got booed at this Royal Rumble that's how you know he's fucking fucked up but At the end we got Highest of the century so because of that I put this at number three because execution was great but Rumble was fucking awful. So yeah coming at number two we have Miss McMahon ninety ninety nine. So Miss McMahon winning the Royal Rumble is like one of the dumbest decision like ever because after he won the Royal Rumble he just vacated the title shot at WrestleMania like what's the fucking point of winning the Royal Rumble like what the fuck like on top of that the one he who elim- eliminate last it was Stone Cold so at that time, Stone Cold was back to back, so people kind of knew that he's not gonna win the Royal Rumble this year. But there's so much, so many other superstars that could won like Mankind or The Undertaker. Like the boss winning Royal Rumble is in great, but plus execution was fucked up, so he didn't even main event that WrestleMania. So yeah number one is obviously alberto del rio so little context here this is the biggest royal rumble no royal rumble include like 30 superstars this one for some reason was 40 so it's kind of sound awesome in paper but it wasn't big because it's just full of fucking jobs so we got some returns but it wasn't the same and let's talk about the last two at 2011 Royal Rumble it was Alberto De Rio and Santino Marella so the reason I'm saying this because the reason I'm saying that is because last two superstars or less uh, this big two like you want to see the other one win but you know who's gonna win like you know that kind of situation like this year for example CM Punk and Cody, CM Punk and Cody Rose 2005 Batista and John Cena 2007 Undertaker and Shawn Michaels all of this are big superstar like seeing them those two and the last 
I just can't get any worse than that. So one of the other reason I'm saying that because Royal Rumble winners are usually getting long term success in WWE like Batista and Bot Batista Brock Lesnar, John Cena, all of them in the Royal Rumble and they were on the top for so fucking long like he was fucked up in the WWE outside of the WWE I'm not going to talk about that so yeah I think he's the worst one so who do you guys think who was the worst Royal Rumble winner so comment down below and I see you again tomorrow hopefully and